Hey, YouTubers. JG here. Welcome back to Smoking Hot Reality. Let's uh, start this video off with a reality check. Did you know that the Supreme Court building has its own basketball court? The average age of the court, those sitting on the court, is 57 and a half. And on the second floor of the building, they've got their own full-size basketball court. It actually has a nickname, believe it or not. Yeah, you guessed it. It's nicknamed the highest court in the land. <laughs> well, let's get on to uh, some smoking. And below this video, we'll have links to the charity we're promoting. We're uh, looking into today Companions for Heroes. It's an organization doing great work pairing animals to first responders and military personnel suffering from PTSD. Check out the link below. Uh, there's one for the donation button and one for their website uh, with information that highlights all the great work they've been doing. Check it out. <laughs> it's on to some smoking. Now it's time to start with a little heat. I'm going to make some beef jerky. Ingredients from the variety pack on high mountain seasoning. It comes with five different kinds. Cajun blend, cracked pepper and garlic, hickory blend, mesquite blend, and original blend. I'm going to use two today. These are two pounds of London broil. I'm going to cut up. The curing salt, got some hickory flavor, and I've already made some in the past, and this is uh, Inferno. We're going to try a little bit of heat with this one. So I'm going to cut up the London broil. We're going to weigh it to see how much we've got, because the instructions that this jerky kit comes with looks for how much you've got. So, so it's all based on the weight of the meat that you're using. That's why I want to cut it up. I'll trim and get rid of some of the fat and then weigh it and see what we've got. See what we're gonna do, how thick. Let's get rid of this fat right there. And my wife likes it very thin. So I'd say half of a pencil. And I won't bore you with cutting all of this up. We'll get back to you, okay? One of the London broils, 1.6 pounds of meat, according to the instructions. One pound is two and a half teaspoons of the seasoning and two teaspoons of the cure. And so what I want to do is add half of the one pound ingredients to make a for a pound and a half. I'm gonna put them in a little shaker and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've got the cure and the seasoning in a shaker bottle that comes in the packet. We're gonna shake it all up. So it's incorporated. Let's take our pound and a half, a little bit more of the sliced up London broil. Let's lay it out on the cutting board so that we can get our shaker seasoning and cure hitting the entire side of the jerky. Once we do that, we'll turn it over and season and cure the back side. A lot of jerky gonna taste good boy and the, the hickory that I've got here smells amazing the seasoning we want some of the cure and the seasoning to touch all of the pieces of jerky then turn them all over we'll hit it again and then put them into a large Ziploc bag and put them in the refrigerator 
for 24 hours till we're ready to smoke. You know, when I've seen other videos like this, I figure, hey, you already turned that one over. You're turning it over again. And I'm wondering if I'm doing that. <laughs> I think we're good. Let's hit it. Use the rest of it. You're going to leave some on the cutting board, but that's okay. Now let's get all of the seasoning up on the meat that we can rubbing the meat through the seasoning on the cutting board and trying to pick up man smell that hickory i hope the wife likes this my wife doesn't care for as i said the spicy so we're going with non-spicy for the wife and i'm going to try the inferno into the bag and then into the refrigerator. But before I do that, I am going to write on the bag that this is 1.6 pounds of hickory. I don't want to get confused and not know what I'm cooking in the, or smoking and give the wife the wrong one. If you've ever given uh, a spouse something hot when they really don't like hot things. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get used to sleeping on the couch for a while. All right, I'm not going to show you cutting up the rest. Let's uh, get that done and get another bag ready for the refrigerator and I'll get back to you. Hey, okay. We've got the, our second London broil cut up. We got 1.3 pounds. The spice, the Inferno spice in the cure is uh, in the shaker bottle. We're gonna lay that on, get it incorporated onto all the pieces and into another bag and in the fridge, ready for smoking. Okay, 1.3 pounds of Inferno in the bag, going in the fridge and we'll cure and marinate for 24 hours. It's now the next day, it's 32 degrees outside. And I've got the smoker, 200 degrees, with some apple wood pellets. And I've got the top rack of hickory and the bottom rack of inferno. My smoking buddies <laughs> are with me. So they're waiting for the taste test. But that's going to be probably three hours, I'm guessing, at 200 degrees. Uh, cold out here. So hopefully it'll take less than six hours to make this jerky. I'll get back to you. Hang in there. Well, we're back taking a look at the jerky. It's been an hour and a half. I have my controller set at 225. It's 235 at the probe in the pit boss. But I've got a probe in the top shelf and the thermo pro saying it's 192. That's about 45 degree difference. Let's take a look at the uh, jerky. That is the Inferno. And the Hickory. Ooh. Let's get a little see what it's looking like. Oh, it's got another, at least another hour to go, I think. But I'm still going to taste this. <laughs> Yeah, it needs to dry out a little more. About halfway there. Maybe another an hour and a half. We'll give it another check. Mmm. But the hickory flavor. I think my wife's going to love it. <laughs> so let's take a look. After two and a half hours and see what the jerky looks like. Oh. That is, look. See the moisture on some of it? It's drying out. That is the... Uh, Inferno, and this is the hickory. Maybe another 45 minutes or an hour. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's that's got to go in probably an hour. I'll be back. Okay, everybody, we're back at the smoker. It's been three and a half hours now, and for those of you that have a pit boss, 
might be interested that the uh, temperature, the cook temperature has been set at 225 uh, and the actual temperature from the Pit Boss probe has been 235 and it's been holding pretty steady, not much fluctuation. The temp, uh, the Therm Pro has been hovering around the 185 to 200 and that has been a little bit above the middle. There's the probe. Here's how we're looking. Oh, that's looking good. Let's try a small piece. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I should pull it out or give it another half an hour. Four hours after we put the, the jerky on, there's what it looks like. And I think, oh, it's gotta come off because I got another appointment. <laughs> so, having said that, let me uh, get it on inside and wrap this up. Okay, well, here's the hickory inside. Get a better look at it. And there is the Inferno. You can see they still got some moisture on them, but uh, I had no other choice. I got an appointment. I'm the only one home. I've got to get out in uh, 10 minutes, so I had to shut everything down. So that's okay. It's just not going to be as tough jerky, but it still tastes good. I've tasted it. The Inferno that I tasted, told you it was spicy. Well, my lips burned for 20 minutes after eating a piece of it, so it's really hot. We actually ended up with some good smoking hot reality. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to check out the links below the video about uh, the Companion uh, charity, and if you so inclined, check them out. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you next time. Hey everybody, postscript to the beef jerky video. Told you I had to leave early, pull it uh, before it was quite where I wanted it to be because I had another appointment. Let me give you an update. In uh, August of 2018, I retired from Baltimore Gas and Electric after 39 years. In April of 2019, I had a stroke due to AFib. Spent three and a half days in the hospital, but God was great. Uh, I didn't lose any functionality, didn't have to go to rehab, uh, got my speech back, although I don't speak very well, I can still speak. So God was good uh, and I'm okay. Having said that, I had an appointment and I had to be there because of the stroke. I have some short-term memory issues. So where I was is I went to the doctors and I got wired up for an EEG it's a 24-hour deal. <laughs> what do you think? Look at this. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> look, as I said, God is good, but there's some things that I've learned through all of this. Number one, 2020 was a dumpster fire for a year. 2021 isn't starting out any that much better so far. So personally, I don't put any faith in politicians whatsoever. I put my faith in God. He's gotten me through as well as my wife who stayed with me over 30 years, giving me her love, her support, and her tolerance. By the way, she loves the hickory beef jerky. So in that light, don't forget the companion charity that's in the description below the video. And hopefully together, we can get through 2021 with some hot smoking reality. Take care. See you next time. Thanks.